These scenes, filmed last month in South Sudanese refugee camps, already showed how critical the situation was. It's May now, and conditions have worsened as the rainy season sets in. Camps are already getting flooded. Water supply is still at the acute phase, it's still uh, below the, the acceptable uh, standards. And uh, the issue of shelter now, the malaria, with the rains coming, and uh, possibly malaria season will start soon. So the shelter issues are still a, a major problem. We estimate that the number of refugees may well reach 150,000 within a few weeks. But in spite of the dire conditions here, they have no intention of going back home. The refugees we find in, in uh, Gambela, most of them are, are fleeing the conflict uh, in, uh, in South Sudan. A majority of the arrivals are mainly women and children. I think it accounts for about 90% of the, the, the number. These people, due, due to the long distances they have to walk, they arrive basically in a, in a fatigue state and very tired. Malnutrition, measles, malaria, cholera, if refugees are not already ill with these diseases when they get here, they are susceptible to them all, particularly younger children. MSF works in three camps providing medical consultations and inpatient care and vaccinating children as they arrive. But the teams see that the priority has to be improving living conditions to prevent the refugees' state of health deteriorating still further.